Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Non-Alcoholic Review. Today we have this non-alcoholic beer right here from Germany. This is from the, well, considered the world's oldest brewery. It's from Weihenstefaner. This is uh, the Weihenstefaner Wheat Non-Alcoholic. Um, non-alcoholic Hef, Hefweiss beer. Premium Bavarian... Zero point five percent. Alrighty, let's try this, shall we? So this was purchased from uh, premiumnearbeer.com. Their Partake Brewing was supposed to release in uh, July. It's now August 1st, so not really too far past July at all since it's the first day. But, uh, it's still not out. There she blows. Well, that's, uh, a little disappointing, to be honest with you. So, as of right now, it's pretty much crystal clear lots of bright white head a little bit on the like brassy gold scale uh, I'm gonna see if any of the head fades a little bit of snap crackle pop and then put the last bit in here in that glass but it doesn't look like it's all that uh, thick and when I saw a Hefeweiss spear I thought it was just gonna basically be a non-alcoholic version of Weihenstefaner and if it had been that like if it had been unfiltered and and all that, I might have been super excited about this. But the way it really is right now, not so excited. Uh, the head doesn't look like it's going to fade, so I'll have to take a sip or two before I add the rest and see what it does. But scent? Okay, instead of uh, instead of that like super sweet, under-attenuated malt scent that you get with a lot of, uh, a of, of non-alcoholics, this smells like... Uh, this smells like sopping wet bread, like a, a good good Italian loaf or something. And it got wet and it sat in the sink overnight and, uh, you know, like somebody scraped their, their food remnants into the sink. And you just get that wet, kind of yeasty, bready smell. That's what I'm getting out of the, out of the bottle. Kind of the same out of the glass, but I can't really tell you if that's really what I'm smelling because there's just way too much head. Um, I'm actually amazed at the head sticking around like that, because there is a snap to it. I mean, it's it's crackling, it's just not moving. Really, realistically, that looks really nice, it really does. Uh, visually, it's appealing. Um, at the same time, it's disappointing because I'm going to get this all over my face. Cheers. still the tiniest amount in there but I can tell that it's not really gonna make a difference going in there let's go again Okay, so after two sips, is it the worst non-alcoholic beer I've had? No. Is it as bad as a lot of them? No, I mean, a lot of them are just Malta or Vita Malt or Tiger Malt or, or Horlicks or anything like that. Just super under-attenuated malt bombs, just super, super sweet. This has a little bit of that sweetness. 
but it has almost a char to it at the same time. It it it's it's like crusty. It's it's bready, biscuity, crusty, uh, toasty. Almost like almost like toasted rye bread. Almost just without uh, like rye bread in that you get that just really grainy grittiness, but no no spiciness. It's not a bad beer to be honest with you. Not a bad non-alcoholic beer. It looks the part. Unfortunately, I expected it to be unfiltered. I expected it to be a true on half, but I mean, this is kind of what I would expect a half to taste like if it was unfermented. You're not, you're not getting it because I mean, wheat isn't going to be the biggest. Uh, well, it, it puts sugar in there, but it's not going to. It's going to give off more of a biscuity and up to roasty taste, just just on its own. When, especially when you don't ferment it all out. I like that. Um, like almost like a almost like shredded wheat mixed with a mixed with a little bit of sweetness from from like caramel. It's an in, intriguing beer and uh, and a little toasty. You know what? I don't think this is in the seven and up category for me, but I I really sure it's not in the five and down category for me. I could actually drink this. I, I don't mind this. It's not it's not bad. I'll give it a 675. I wouldn't buy it again, but I have no problem drinking it. There's nothing wrong with it. So 675 out of 10 for the uh Wyan Stefaner Hefeweiss beer, non-alcoholic. Thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful evening. Au revoir. Aviento. See you soon. Bye-bye.